This is Perry Hodder with a video tutorial on how to make fake blood with Adobe Premiere Elements 4. Once you have Adobe Premiere opened, you should also have some sort of paint program on your computer. Find it and open it. You also need a folder to save your images in. So in this case, I went to my pictures and created a new folder and saved it as blood. Once you have that done, you can begin creating the blood images. Start, start out by coloring the whole screen black. Once you have that done, then you can create the blood using the spray, the spray can tool, and color it red. You'll need to go to File, Save As. I've, I've looked for my blood folder. And then I save it as blood one. And then once you have saved it as blood one, you you go to the next frame. You you start changing it a little. You may need to erase erase the original blood. Uh, fill fill in the blank space with with black. And, and start creating your blood. And again, file, save as, blood to. Then you just continue to repeat the process until you have the desired images of blood. Once you have all the images saved in your blood folder, you'll need to go to the project on Adobe Premiere. You'll need to minimize it, select all, and then drag it to the project. And now you can drag them into your video timeline. It'll help if you stretch out the video that makes the editing far easier. Drag the first blood image. Make sure you have it selected. Make sure you have it selected. And go to effects. then find King then find the one that says Luma Key and apply it and go to edit effects and then go to motion on edit effects and you can change the scale to match up with the video so it may not look too small or too big and you can of course click and drag it to where you want and you should go through the frames cutting it where it is needed 
so it will run smoothly. Then once you have your desired frames of the first blood frame, you'll delete the excess. And then you just continue to do so with all the other frames of blood. And once you have them done, you can adjust them to your video any way you like. Hope this helps. And you may even want to add sound to your video. Like so.